the Enlushan Rebellion was a devastating rebellion against the Tang Dynasty of China. The rebellion overtly began on 16 December 755, when General Enlushan declared himself emperor in northern China, thus establishing a rival Yan dynasty, and ended when Yan fell on 17 February 763. This event is also known as the Anxi Rebellion or Anxi Disturbances. As it continued after An Lushan's death under his son and King Shu and his deputy and successor Shi Siming, or as the Tianbao Rebellion. As it began in the 14th year of that era, the rebellion spanned the reigns of three Tang emperors before it was finally quashed, and involved a wide range of regional powers besides the Tang dynasty loyalists, others involved were anti Tang families especially in Lushan's base area in Hebei, and Arab Yukha and Sogdian forces or influences, among others. The rebellion and subsequent disorder resulted in a huge loss of life and large-scale destruction. It significantly weakened the Tang dynasty, and led to the loss of the western regions. Background Political beginning in 742, Eurasia entered a 13-year period of major political turmoil, with the regional empires generally suffering a major rebellion, revolution, or dynastic change. In this year the Turk dynasty of the Eastern Steppe was overthrown and then replaced by Sogdian-influenced UI rulers. This was apparently the first of several revolutionary events either led by or intimately connected with the merchants and trades people involved with. The international commerce often referred to as the Silk Road. The Abbasids began a rebellion against the Umayyad Caliphate beginning in 747, in Merv, Khorasan, and resulting in the proclamation of a new Abbasid Caliph in about 750. This rebellion also seems to have been organized by merchants and persons identifying themselves as merchants. Western expansion of the Tang Empire was checked in 751 by the defeat of a large expeditionary force led by General Gaoxiangji in the Battle of Talis in the modern Fergana Valley. With the Arab victory attributable to the defection of the Karluk Turks during the midst of the battle, further, southern expansion of the empire was limited by the ineffective, and even disastrous, campaigns against the Kingdom of Nangzhou. However, the concurrent Tang campaign against the Tibetan Empire was proceeding more successfully with the campaign to capture the Tibetan Central Asian territories appearing near success. With the assassination of the Tibetan Emperor Miagsum in 755 in the midst of a major rebellion within the Tibetan polity, final Tang victory over the Tibetan Empire seemed all but assured. However, back in the increasingly financially challenged Chinese heartland, the Sogdian Turkic general in Lushan had worked himself into a position of greatest trust with the Tang Emperor Shanzong and his consort Zhang Gaifei. General in Lushan and Lushan was a general of uncertain birth origin, but thought to have been adopted by a Sogdian father and Tudu mother. Eventually he managed to become a favorite of the reigning emperor of China. His success in this regard is shown, for example, by the luxurious house Emperor Shanzong built for him in 751, in the capital Chang'e. The house was furnished with luxuries such as gold and silver objects and a pair of 10-foot long by 6-foot wide couches appliqued with rare and expensive sandalwood. He was appointed by Emperor Shanzong to be commander of three garrisons in the north, Pinglu, Fanyang and Hedong in effect, and was given control over the entire area north of the lower reaches of the Yellow River, including garrisons about 164,000 strong. He took advantage of various circumstances, such as popular discontent with an extravagant Tang court. The synchronous Sogdian involved a Basid rebellion against the Mayad dynasty and eventually the absence of strong troops guarding the palace coupled with a string of natural disasters. He was a favorite in the Tang court, even calling himself the adopted son of Yang Gaifei. 
He was thus protected from criticism, even when her relative, Chief Minister Yang Guozhong, demanded his dismissal. Course of the rebellion The Enlushan Rebellion signaled a period of disorder spanning the reigns of three Tang Dynasty emperors beginning during the final period of the reign of Shenzong, continuing through the reign of Suzong and ending during the reign of Daizong, as well as spanning the four imperial claimants of the failed Daiyan dynasty. Revolt and capture of Luoyang at the end of 755 and Lushan revolted. His army surged down from Fanyang. Along the way, and Lushan treated surrendered local Tang officials with respect. As a result, more and more of them joined his ranks. He moved rapidly along the Grand Canal and captured the eastern capital, city of Luoyang within the year, defeating the poorly supplied General Feng Changqing. There, and Lushan declared himself emperor of the new Great Jan dynasty. Battle of Yongqiu however, the horrific Battle of Yongqiu, in the spring of 756, went badly for Enlushan. Although his army, under Ling Guchao, was numerous, it was unable to make further territorial gains due to the failure to wrest control of Yongqiu and the nearby Suiyang district from the Tang. Defenders led by Zhang Zun. This prevented the Yan forces from conquering southern China before the Tang were able to recover. Advance on Chang'e originally, and Lushan's forces were blocked from the main imperial capital at Chang'e by loyal troops placed in nearly impregnable defensive positions in the intervening high mountain passes of Tongguan. Unfortunately for Chang'e, the two generals in charge of the troops at Tong Pass, Gao Xiangji and Feng Changqing, were executed due to a court intrigue involving the powerful eunuch Bian Lingcheng. Yang Guozhong, with grossly inept military judgment, then ordered the replacement general Gi Xu Han, who was in charge of the troops in the passes, together with reinforcement troops, to attack An's army on open ground. The Tang forces were defeated, and the road to the capital now lay open. Flight of the emperor with rebel forces clearly an imminent threat to the imperial seat of Chang'e, and with conflicting advice from his advisors. Tang Emperor Shanzong determined to flee to the relative sanctuary of Sichuan with its natural protection of mountain ranges so the Tang forces could reorganize and regroup. He brought along the bulk of his court and household. The route of travel from Chang'e to Sichuan was notoriously difficult, requiring hard travel on the way through the intervening Qin Mountains. However, the geographical features of the terrain were not the only hardships on the journey. There was a matter that first had to be settled, involving the relationship between Shanzong and the Yang family, especially the emperor's beloved Zhang Gaifei. So, before progressing more than a few kilometers along the way, an incident occurred at Mavian, in today's Xingping in Zhanyang, Shanxi. Shanzong's bodyguard troops were hungry and tired, and very angry with Yang Guozhong for exposing the whole country to danger. They demanded the death of the much-hated Zhang Guozhong, and then of his cousin and imperial favorite Zhang Gaifei. Soon the angry soldiers killed Yang Guozhong, Zhang Shan, Lady Han and Lady Qin. With the army on the verge of mutiny, the emperor had no choice but to agree, ordering the strangling of Lady Yang. The incident made Shanzong fear for his own safety, so he fled to Chengdu at once. However, people stopped his horse, not wanting him to go away. So he made the crown prince, Li Heng, stay to hold the fort. Instead, Li Heng fled in the other direction to Lingzhou. Later, in 756, after reaching Sichuan, Shanzong abdicated in favor of the crown prince, who had already been proclaimed emperor. Fall of Chang'e in 756 and Lushan and his rebel forces captured Chang'e, an event that had a devastating effect upon this thriving metropolis. Before the revolt, estimates put the population within the city walls at from 800,000 minus 1 million, including small cities in the vicinity forming the metropolitan area. The census in 742 recorded 362,921 families with 1,960,188 persons. 
Much of the population fled at the approach of the rebels. Then the city was captured and looted by the rebel forces and the remaining population put in jeopardy. A new emperor in 756 the third son of Shanzong, Li Heng, was proclaimed Emperor Suzong at Lingzhou. Although another group of local officials and Confucian literati tried to promote a different prince, Li Lin, the prince of Yong, at Jinling. One of Suzong's first acts as emperor was to appoint the generals Guo Zi and Li Guangbi to deal with the rebellion. The generals, after much discussion, decided to borrow troops from an offshoot of the Turkish Tuju tribe, the Huihi, or Huij, also known as the Kurkaganate, who were ruled by Bayan Cher Khan until his death in the summer of 759. 4,000 Arab mercenaries were sent by the Abbasid Caliph al-Mansur to join the Tang in 756, staying in China after the war. Possibly some of these mercenaries intermarried with the Hui people. With Ukha assistance, the Tang imperial forces recaptured both Chang'er and Luoyang in 757. However, they failed to capture or subdue the rebel troops, who fled to the rebel heartland in the northeast. Siege of Sui Yang in the beginning of 757 and continuing through October of that year. A protracted stalemate between the Yan and Tang forces occurred in Sui Yang. This effectively blocked the Yan forces from attacking the extensive areas south of the Yangzhe River, which remained relatively untouched by the Anxi disturbances. Implosion of Yan Dynasty and end of the rebellion The imperial forces were helped by internal dissent in the newly formed dynasty, and Lushan was killed by his son, and Kangshu, in late January 757. His son was then killed by a subordinate, General Shi Siming, and Lushan's childhood friend and follower. She recaptured the city of Luoyang soon after. However, in 761 Shi Siming was killed by his son, Shi Chao Yi, who then promptly proclaimed himself emperor, although he failed to get widespread support from the other Yan generals. In 762 Emperor Suzong had become seriously ill. The combined forces of the Tang and their Huij allies were led by the eldest son of Suzong. This son was at first named Li Chu, then renamed Li Yu in 758. After being named Crown Prince, eventually he was renamed again as Emperor Dai Zong of Tang, on 18 May 762. In the period before his final victories over the rebel troops he was also confronted with a wide variety of threats. For example, the port of Canton was pillaged in 758 by seaborne Arab and Persian forces, probably pirates based on Hainan. There was also a massacre of Arab and Persian merchants in the Yangzhou massacre. However, by this time it was clear that the new Yan dynasty would not last long, and Yan officers and soldiers began to defect to the Tang side. Finally, the eastern capital Luoyang was taken by Tang forces for the second time, in the winter of 762. Yan Emperor Shi Chao Yi attempted to flee, but was intercepted in the spring of 763. Shi Chao Yi then chose suicide to avoid capture. Thus, after eight years, ended the rebellion. However, the end of the rebellion was only part of a long process of rebuilding and recovery for the Tang. In part due to the weakened condition of the Tang, other disturbances continued to evolve. The Tibetan Empire under Trisong Detsan, taking advantage of the Tang's weakness during the rebellion, had reconquered much of their Central Asian territories, even going so far as to take the city of Chang'e in late 763. 